China lobbied long and hard to host the Olympics. On July 13, 2001, the International Olympics Committee set aside big cities like Toronto, Paris, Istanbul and Osaka and gave the honor of hosting the Olympics to Beijing. Thousands of Chinese danced in the streets when they heard the big news. After winning the bid, Chinese Vice Premier Li Langqing declared the winning of the 2008 Olympic bid an example of the international recognition of China's social stability, economic progress, and the healthy lifestyle of the Chinese. But what was to come was never anticipated. China did get a great deal of international attention, but not the way it was hoping for. On the contrary, China found itself under intense international scrutiny for everything from its policy toward Tibet, human rights and product safety to the level of its relation with Sudan. What was meant to be a moment of glory turned into one of harsh criticism. World leaders like the British Prime Minister, German Chancellor and the UN Secretary General said they won't be seen at the opening ceremonies. The relay of the Olympics torch with the theme Journey of Harmony, which began on March 24, 2008, in Olympia, Greece, also created some scenes. The torch was to travel a record 137,000 kilometers around the planet. But what was always a lively event turned into chaotic scenes of protests, especially in London and Paris. There were several attempts to put out the flame. The IOC said this new wave was simply unacceptable. China, China, China. But I mean, when people get to the point where they'll break lines, take the torch, put the torch out, it's, uh, I think, of course, uh, one would argue that essentially does a lot of harm to their own cause, but <laughs> mostly people don't even know what their causes are. They just take their hate out on whatever the issue is at the time, and uh, that hate against uh, the host country uh, has been taken out through our torch. What we get concerned with is that people take advantage of a democratic environment to abuse good order and take it out on the Olympic torch. If people simply demonstrated uh, to make their cause clear, that's one thing. But for people to demonstrate to the extent where violence takes place and where people are arrested, it's a complete abuse of a democratic right. That upsets us. But China had no plans of letting anything get on its way. China invested heavily in new facilities and transformation systems to sort out the heavy traffic jams and control the pollution in Beijing. A total of 37 venues were chosen as the sites to host the events, including 12 newly constructed ones. And at the heart of it all was the Beijing National Stadium, nicknamed the Bird Nest. The stadium features a lattic-like concrete skeleton forming its bow. Up to 80,000 people will have the chance of a lifetime to sit back and watch the most significant games of 2008 in this stadium. President of the International Olympic Committee, Jacques Rupp, believes the Beijing Olympics will be one to remember. An Olympics which will surely prove to be a lucky charm in China's transformation on the world stage.